Well, actually, it, it's, it's about um, imper how I feel about imperialism mm -hmm. and uh, aggression and being a Ukrainian-American, that story, and uh, of course the mix-up with U Ukraine. Some people think it's Russia, and Russians really like that and perpetuate that misguided knowledge. But now for Russia via Putin to become a player in the United States politics and in the election is they're playing that same kind of propaganda misinformation game here that they have uh, done many times in Ukraine. But anyway, I, I, I don't mean to be so serious always because actually this work is uh, meant to you know, take the viewer in. And I've gotten lots of comments since the show opened. And among them was, well, we had no idea that you had a sense of humor. <laughs> and I thought, well, these are kind of comical. They're, um, but underneath that first introduction, just like a lot of puppet theater and satire in general, uh, there is something to think about. So um, I like the idea of uh, uh, enticing the person mm -hmm. viewing, that there's something uh, playful even and that they can identify with and then they can also see, notice some of the words and put, put the puzzles together, puzzle together in their own way. And then of course the title gives you a hint and, and just the context of the show, all of them uh, of a piece, although each one individually also has that. So, um, and it's my way of dealing with a lot of that and working through it mm -hmm. in my own way. And it has gotten to a point where the collage aspect, laying the ground on paper or canvas of uh, stories or anything else that has to do with a particular um, theme or a particular event. Is the, is the starting point. It's adding and subtracting. It's, um, yeah, and, and sometimes I hide things or, or uh, put another collage over it. So it's a mechanism that I use for myself and it, it uh, builds up over time. Mm -hmm. um, and so some of, the, some of the larger works and smaller works come about more quickly, others more slowly, but they, they do accrue over time. So, um, and the imagery oftentimes evolves over time too. It's not something that is imposed on the ground necessarily. Mm -hmm. um, things suggest themselves. Um, so th the improvisation part is something that really is there all the time. Well, I, you know, I, I have some idea because I have the large paintings, for instance, a fallen tree uh, horizontally um, was a symbol of the takeover of Crimea and the incursion and war in eastern Ukraine. Um, so that I did have that image in mind, but how it was going to exactly look and how much of the collage was going to peer through the branches and what color it may be, that, that all remains unknown. Um, and sometimes for an incredibly long time, so that um, I have to um, I have to be engaged with something in that work to keep going. I gradually cover, and and it's, it's it is that kind of uh, adding, subtracting, um, and and then um, deciding when it's enough, and what to leave open, and what to obscure. That's a call that I make eventually, and I, I think like many artists who maybe don't admit it openly, you never know exactly when the work is completely finished. It's not a process where it gets better and better and better, and you're able to solve things quicker. It, it, it happens occasionally, and then the next drawing, let's say, is going to be one of those that takes forever. You know, it, it's, I don't, 
understand why that is. But I usually have more than one work going at any given time. Mm -hmm. And um, I freed myself from, you know, the school kind of mentality where you don't move on until you resolve this work. And uh, I'm much better when I have something small, something large, something in, in more of a painting. And, uh, and then I can turn them to the wall and only focus on one, but I can also the next day look at something small and that kind of thing can happen where then I start, I get back into it and it's finished. <laughs> or I turn it to the wall or put it away and then I look at it again and it is finished and I wasn't sure. Mm -hmm. So in the intervening time, whatever it was that I had done on another work, I think that was necessary in order to more clearly look at this particular work. I always find uh, that part of art the most magical when the artist goes, it's done. It well, and for me it has been, and not very often now, but it has also been where I felt something was not finished, but it did go to a show, and I always didn't feel that it was finished, and I sometimes would go back to it and change it completely. And, and another, somebody else looking at it would think, I don't understand what you're talking about, and I can't, I can't uh, explain what that is either, but it was, there was something unresolved. And then other times, I like, like that piece, um, uh, by the door. Um, I had another, I have another one, a companion piece that is more covered up, let's say. Um, and then this one, and this one was the preferred one. So there's, some of the works really need to be more open and more suggestive and not so, um, uh, what, rendered. Mm -hmm. And oftentimes when I do render something, I then erase it out to get back to that indefinite state. Because all of these, that's what there are. They're piecing together bits and pieces of information and coming out with something, merging image and text and figuration. And the figuration can be more specific or less. Mm -hmm. And in some, it needs to be less. And I, I uh, I teach, and I should be able to explain this, but, you know, I don't know <laughs> why I, that is. I don't think there is any way to explain it. You, you don't know. You just, um, I, like I said, it's the magic part of making art. Where... And the magic part, too, is when you have occasion to show the work and, um, and then uh, get some feedback from people who come to see it. Uh, that's really magical too, because um, if people are willing to talk and share, they see things that I don't, but it's there. For myself, all of the players or the critters here had to be engaging for me. Mm -hmm. You know, I play games with myself where I tag them on the studio wall and the first thing in the morning I flip the light on and you know, how did I greet them? <laughs> They're inanimate objects, but you see them more as live, living things. Yes, I, you know, they're, they all, they're all animals that I know, one way or another. I don't own any pets myself. Um, and so I associate certain things with them. You know, so I, I it makes me happy when, when, you know, somebody responds that way, because, um, because I do feel like they are, they are foils, they, are, they have absorbed all the, um, well, bad and good stuff. Mm -hmm. I mean, the, the squirrel here, my favorite animal, is like lis listening to the squirrel's heartbeat. You know, that's, I always think that's, it's a beautiful description um, of inner, inner spiritual. Um, presence and and then just um, using um, stamps in a, a addressed envelope that came from Ukraine to me you know so that's that was of significance and special meaning for me so those kinds of things 
were really special for me, but when they can actually be resonate with somebody else, you mm -hmm. know, there's nothing better. That is magical. So, what's in the future? In the future? Yes. Well, I um, I have a, a show coming up that will travel throughout Ukraine. 2021 in the spring in um, the Lviv Museum, and Lviv is the uh, largest city in western Ukraine. Um, and it will travel uh, to five other venues, including Kiev, the capital, and Kharkiv, which is really a city closest to the Russian border. Um, so I'm finishing up some large paintings for that. And I have a roll uh, that was a roll of paper, large roll of paper that was given to me. And I have this idea of drawing on that roll of paper horizontally and just um, collaging image of um, the shooting down of the Malaysian flight and children's drawings that I collected when I was teaching English in Ukraine to children. Um, just a collage, 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 and then draw fields of flowers, of sunflowers, mm -hmm. and keep unraveling the roll of paper. Kind of goes with uh, how we take in information, you know, unrolling it and then rolling it up, unrolling it. So you see this much, you don't see this much, but it's hidden, it's there, it can be unrolled. But this is all very conceptual at this point. Uh, but this last summer, um, my husband and I were in Ukraine for three months and we traveled through the sunflower fields. Um, and they're incredible.